What is going on ladies and lads? I'm going to go ahead and cut to the chase real quick and just show you guys what you need to know in order to get into Plutonium IW5 aka Modern Warfare 3. They're custom servers and they're super fun and you know I also have a server up which I'll talk about later in the video. But for now go ahead and follow along with what I'm saying and you'll be able to get into the servers really quickly. So if you already own Modern Warfare 3 on Steam then you're good to go for the first step very easy if you want to buy it legitimately all you have to do is go up into the store and in the search type in modern warfare 3 click on the game and then if you scroll down you'll be able to add it to the cart and buy the game but if you aren't trying to spend any money here's the way that you can get into plutonium for absolutely free all you need to do is go back into your library over here where it says games change it to also include tools scroll down and you will see modern warfare 3 dedicated server install this and go ahead and continue on with the rest of the steps. I'm gonna go ahead and send it over to Roy to explain the rest. All right, what I do wanna show you is how to download the Pluto launcher. So first off, you just go to the Plutonium website, which should be down below, and just click on this right here and download it. Once you have it, you should be able to just find it in wherever you download it, I don't know. Mine's on my desktop, so I just go here, and then open this up and once you finally have this open because it should try to download a bunch of stuff you want to go here which it says game settings and then go to select directory and then you want to find your modern warfare 3 folder whether you downloaded it on steam or if you downloaded it through other means you just want to find your modern warfare 3 folder and once you have your modern warfare 3 folder open you just select folder and then now every time you open it it should open up the pluto mod but don't just stop right there i know a lot of you guys just did this and then didn't get the dlc before continuing we have a lot of DLC maps on the server this time around, so you're gonna want to have them. So reopen the Plutonium website, and then you should see something on the right down here that says installing the DLCs, and you want to open up this mega link. Now, once you have the mega link open, you just want to right click on MW3 DLC zip, just right click and then download. Now the download might take you a while. Like it could even take up to like 45 minutes. Uh, I think this website throttles your download. So you try to pay for it. But other than that, just wait for this. And then once it is done, it should look something like this. And yes, that took about like 20 minutes for me to download that. <laughs> now, once you have your zip open, I don't know where you put it on your computer, but once you have it open, just go to your steam again, go to your library and then open Open up the MW3, go to the gear icon, manage, and then go to browse local files. Or however you got MW3, I don't know. Just make it to your MW3 folder. Now open up the zip and you want to have both zone folder and the main folder highlighted. And then you just want to drag this into your MW3 folder. And it should pop up saying to like replace files. And yes, you want to do that. Now, obviously I'm not going to do it because I already have everything fine and I don't want the chance of messing everything up. So yeah, just do what I said. Now you should be able to open up mw3 pluto no problems you should have every dlc map as well and then once you have that done you are free to go you will be able to play all of the maps on the server and you should have no problems now once you're done with that if you're looking to join me and roy's server there's been a big overhaul as far as maps and guns go to make your lives easier make sure you head to the description and download the custom user maps as well it'll bring you right here to the screen i'm looking at now and all you have to do is go up to the top Hit the drop down arrow and hit download, highlight them all, right click and hit download, and it'll download a zip file of all of the maps. Now once you have it downloaded, you're going to want to open it up, keep it to the side, and hit Windows R on your keyboard to open your run window. Now just like I have it, you're going to type in percent local app data percent and hit OK. Now you're going to scroll down and find your plutonium folder, go into your storage, IW5 user maps and go ahead and select everything in the archive you just downloaded minus the three dots at the top drag them over and replace everything in your user maps folder that was a little hard to make out but i did drag it onto the folder in the bottom right and it simply is going to replace everything in here it's going to ask you if you want to replace things just go ahead and hit yes because you know you may have some maps already you may not or some of these might be updated versions you have no idea that's all you're going to need from us have fun on plutonium and hopefully we'll see you guys in the servers also one last thing quickly before i end the video if you'll have a look on the screen here these are all the new guns added into me and roy's server now all you got to do if you want to use them on your custom classes is create your custom classes with all the things you see on the screen and for the custom guns, as well as you can use the base MW3 snipers, you just use the guns that are listed underneath the pictures as they'll just get replaced by the guns that are custom. And you can do this in your primary or secondary slot. We hope you guys enjoy and have fun with everything we put together for you. And even if it's not in our server, enjoy Plutonium.